guys welcome back to another video it's your boy Leon presenting for flex adventures if you're new welcome thank you for joining the family remember to hit that subscribe button turn on post notification leave a like leave a comment once you have enjoyed my content if you're a whole welcome back I really appreciate the continued support that you all have given me and I really appreciate the love all right today we're gonna talk a little bit about the invasive lionfish yes lionfish all right many may not know a lot about lionfish but i'm gonna give you a little uh tips and tricks and stuff to know about lionfish all right lionfish they are also called butterfly fish firefish zebra fish turkey fish or tasty fish Lionfish, they are easily identified by their conspicuous warning coloration, which is either black, red, white, or gray band. Lionfish, they have venoms in their fins. Uh, I'll say from experience, the dorsal fin carries the most venom because I've been stung by lionfish before. I've been stung by dorsal fin. I've been stung by the uh pectoral fin and to be honest the dorsal fin that's a kick yeah all right just imagine being stung by 10 wasps in one place in the same spot that's the intensity of the lionfish sting all right in this video you will see oh i clean up the lionfish not necessarily clean up but oh I make it safe to handle whenever I'm diving all right so one of the thing you need is a pair of scissors this is good to use it's a handy material a knife can be used but you are in more risk when you use a knife to cut away the fins so I ensure that I cut off all the fin that carries the venom um, what I've noticed, I'm not sure 100%, but what I've noticed is that the tail fin, that doesn't have any venom. So I can easily hold that and control the fish movement somewhat. While I cut away the venomous fins. To be honest, um, lionfish is one of the tastiest fish their meat is delicate soft and nice to be honest especially when steam or fry so right here you're gonna see in this video I must say in this video you won't see where I shot most of the lionfish I think it was like one I caught on camera because on this day I was being a bit lazy so I was a bit relaxed and not um, filming much but I managed to capture the footage after I shot the fish but that's that all right so right here I shot after the lionfish as you can see the vis isn't 100% so I totally missed went back for some air and I think I went back down and he was the same place and I shot him not at a good angle this time like I don't know what happened but um, the vis wasn't 100% as you can see so I couldn't get um to see the full structure of his body to know where I'm gonna eat it yeah right here is about 45 45 feet right here so here's the same lionfish at the top of the screen as you can see I shot it coming up with it but guess what you'll see though let's not ruin the surprise all right so here's my fish 
I'm about to make that fish safe to handle. So I secure my spear in the gun, then reach for my scissors. So I'm not sure if you saw where the spear went, but the spear actually went in one of its side fins and that was a bad shot. That was a bad shot. If the lionfish was moving a lot more, probably would have gotten off the same time I shot it. But let's just watch a video and see. So I'm cleaning up that fish, making it safe to handle. just being safe and not to let any of those fin stick me all right look at this <laughs> the fish broke off like that what that's one of the biggest mistake and I not even realize until the fish came off the spear that it was a bad shot so without even taking a big breath I went down after the fish the spear wasn't set, so I tried to pierce the fish. Only thing I did was just push it further down in the water. Tried to set the spear, but the spear was twist. I had to go back, and um, eventually I lost that fish. Yeah, I lost that fish. All right. Um, shortly after, I shot another one. This day was just loaded with lionfish. I lost like about two lionfish or three and I caught about four or five lionfish that day. So again, I reach for my scissors, my Andy Dandy scissors, yeah. You cut away that dorsal fin. As you can see, the lionfish is in defensive mode. You realize he spread his fins wide apart just to make himself look a bit bigger and try not to get you a grip on him so he spread his fins so he made a mistake and grab him on all those fin, fins I should say you will feel that burn Okay, I think you've seen most of that, so let's fast forward to another clip. So right here, I shot a Barracuda. Um, the camera was low. Yeah, the camera's low and I never got that on camera much but as you can see I squeezed squeezed the trigger and my barracuda is shot it's not a big barracuda it's relatively a small one probably about two pounds as you can see it's small but yeah guys um remember be safe when you're handling lionfish because lionfish they can give you a kick when you come on to sting and you can't say I never told you just be careful all right um I must say thank you for the support again and stay tuned for another video with your boy Leon representing for flex adventures we gone Shh.